Okay, I'm in Inkscape and I wanna do a text design around my coffee pot here. So I'm gonna click the little text button on the left-hand side. I'm gonna drag my cursor and that opens up a window. And then I'm gonna type in the word coffee and that is going to give me my text. Now I wanna point out the text is just an outline. So if you want an outline, of your text, a really easy way to do it is down at the very bottom, there's a fill and then there's a stroke. It's kind of tough to see there because my video kind of cuts off there at the very bottom, but you'll see fill and then underneath that is stroke. So I'm gonna click on that little button, fill none. And what happens is over here is the fill button pops open, there's a stroke paint and a stroke style. There's these three tabs and under the fill, if you click on fill, flat color, then something will go into the color depending on where you want your color to be. So I'm in the color wheel and I can change this to red, I could change this to blue, whatever I wanted to do. Or I can have no fill and I can change out and say no paint and that just gives me an outline. Now you can change this if you wanted to move the text around. So I'm just gonna zoom in here a tiny bit so you can see this a bit better. And right now it's text. So I could change this. If I click on the little text icon, you'll see the box opens up and I could click inside it and I could start typing other letters because it's actually true text. So what you wanna do, if you wanna change this and you're happy with the way this looks, you go up here to the top and you go path, object to path. And what you're saying to the computer is, take that object and change it into a vector. So now it's no longer text. It's actually a real vector. If I click on an individual letter, you'll see it pop up here as an actual vector. You'll see those points, those are vector points. I could move those around, I could change that. Whoa, look at that, I could change it and make it look like anything I want because it's a true vector. So now what you can do is click it once and the whole thing will be selected or double click the C for example, click, click, and I can move the C. Pretty cool. Click again, just the O pops up, just the F pops up. If you click it again, like I did too many times, it'll change to the default state of trying to move the vector nodes. So you just gotta click it once, give it a tiny bit of time. And then what you can do is you can move this around now and you can make a really nice looking design that is not just straight up text. You can actually move the text around an object or you can make it look skewed. You can do all sorts of weird wild stuff with it. Pretty cool, very easy to do. You wanna create your outline first, your outline text first, no fill, then path, object to path, that changes it to a vector, and then you can move the individual letters. And you can't edit the letters. I wanna be very clear about that. These are now true vectors. So you can edit them as a vector, but I can't go in now and enter more text because it's no longer text. It's now an actual vector. Inkscape is so cool. I love Inkscape. If you'd like to download it, make sure to go to inkscape.org. It is completely free and I hope you found this video helpful. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your Inkscape journey. Thanks a lot for watching.